What is up guys? Welcome back to Dieter Place. I'm going to show you how to get a bunch of items here today. The CHM logo baseball cap is one of the items. There's actually five different items here that I'm going to show you how to get for free today. The second one, the CHM compass necklace. So the next one here is the CHM camping backpack. It's for the computer history museum event thing that's going on here. The CHM t-shirt, which is going to take a few days as far as a login thing. Uh, and then the CHM lab coat. And uh, basically some of these items here we're going to be able to get for free as a part of this game here. Welcome to Tech Quest by Computer History Museum. So I've got the link to the game in the description of the video. So in order to get these, there's like some badges here that are part of this game. And it does say in the description how to get those badges. Like in order to get the pet collector, you need to purchase a robot from the vending machine. Uh, and then the ocean swimmer, you swim across the ocean region. Then there's the environmentalist over here, which you get from uh, doing certain tasks inside of the game after you get a robot pet. Then the virtual student one, we'll show you how to get that one as well. Well, and then this one right here, the museum attendee, it looks like you just have to log in for five days in a row in order to get that one. So we're just going to kind of tell you, but we'll show you for the most part how to do all these other ones. But there's a lot of tasks in this game as a part of the whole thing. So I'm not going to like go normal time through each and every one of these tasks, but it's super easy. So first thing you go in and to the right, you use some tokens to buy a, a robot out of the vending machine. And you can see on the bottom right, we've got that. So you can get tokens by doing any of the tasks. Just go to any of those areas and each area has a whole bunch of tasks. This whole video is about showing you guys the tasks. So uh, in order to get tokens, you just do some of those. And then once you have enough, make sure you go in there and get that. So uh, over here, you guys can equip your pet. Just click on the pet and then you'll see it should be next to you. And then if you want your pet to go away, you just click on no pet. But usually you don't want to click on no pet. You actually want to have your pet equipped. So I would recommend before you start doing the uh, areas or, or certain tasks, I would say just get your pet because uh, one of these we actually have to have uh, for the camping logo backpack for the conservation tasks. We have to have a robot pet for some reason. So uh, we're going to go get the second one right here, uh, the one in the ocean. So you can see we've traveled through the little warp area to head over on into the ocean. So in this ocean, ocean area, there's only actually two tasks that you have to do. Uh, but in, in order to get this badge, all you have to do is just jump in the water and then you just kind of swim out. And I'm not sure if it's about how much time you spend swimming or how far out you end up going. But yeah, you just want to swim out here in the ocean. And then you can see here, not it's not really too long or too far that you have to go. I thought we'd have to swim really far across there. Uh, but for some of these tasks... We're going to have to go much, we're going to have to do much more swimming in the ocean anyways. So uh, yeah, you're probably going to end up getting it during one of those future tasks for the VR thing. But you see right here, we swam far enough and you can see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we've got ourselves the Ocean Explorer Award and the Ocean Explorer Award is going to give us the, uh, the logo, uh, the necklace with the CHM logo on it. So the vending machine thing is going to give us the hat. We've already, and then we're going to get the necklace from doing the ocean swim. So the next thing we're going to do, uh, if you go to the home or community or park, it basically takes you to the same big community area. And on the bottom right hand, you can see there's a little arrow. If you expand that arrow, you can see all the different tasks that are in that area. So this one right here is all of the tasks that you guys want to do as a part of the conservation thing. So every single task in here is what you do. So if you click on the task, you can see we've got black arrows that shows where to go to do this uh, that task. And these tasks are all pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory. Once you go in there, you just need to usually push some buttons, but you have to do all of them. Uh, you have to do the turtle maze, traffic lights, ping pong, automation, the shell design, the playground, the home monitoring, the drone racing, the candy factory, and the automated kitchen in order to get the conservation badge. So it's basically all of these items here inside this whole area. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There is 10 of them. Uh, and they're usually pretty quick, pretty straightforward. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get the conservation badge. But once you do all of them here, like in the park, in the school, in this whole community area, then you'll be able to get that conservation badge. Uh, and I think there was, there's some of them, they're all really straightforward. I'd say the only one that was uh, fairly challenging was the one that involved the uh, maze with the turtle. And it wasn't even really that challenging. All you had to do is just tell it the right errors or arrows and where to go. Uh, but then there's some of these that use VR as well that are a part of the other badge that you need to do. Uh, so yeah, this is the one that has the, uh, the maze 
for the turtle. So in order to do this one, you just have to look at the maze and program it. But if you want, just look at the arrows that I've got here. Uh, so we're going first, it's right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, and this goes left, down, and then right. And then that is basically the script that you want to run for this one in order to get this sh uh, this turtle to make it to the end of the maze as you can see in this video it is following that script and it's made it to the end of the maze so as far as all of the tasks that you need to do this is probably the only one that i need to kind of like show you or even really explain the other ones you just go in you just keep just read it when it says what to do in the beginning area and the tutorial and just Basically, you're just going to have to push buttons that are available. And even if you don't read the tutorial and after it tells you what you're supposed to do, it's really not going to be that difficult to figure out. Uh, now, I got this list from the Melon Guys that it was just these 10 inside of this area that were for the conservation. But then there's some of these other tasks that seem like they're important for conservation. And I did them before I finished all of the other ones in that room. So if you do all the ones that are in the community area and you don't get the badge, uh, make sure you just go and do the Coral Reef one, the Coral Reef Health in the ocean area and then this one with the solar panels in the farm because uh, those ones seem like they're part of the whole conservation and it would make sense that they were part of the whole conservation badge as well uh, but pretty much what i'd recommend is just go into all the areas and do all of the tasks because by the time you're trying to do all the conservation and all the vr tasks then you're gonna pretty much end up doing all of the tasks anyways. So now we're gonna show you which tasks you have to do for the VR thing. So one of them is here in the rainforest. If you go to the biodiversity one, there's this one right here. And you can see when you go and you do the tasks, there's the toolbox on the bottom. And then some of these use VR or alternate reality. And then this is one of the ones that actually uses it. Uh, two of them are already in the uh, community area. So if you guys went through and you did all of the ones in the community area, you probably already did the playground one and you probably already did the shell design one, which are for VR and trying to complete the whole VR tasks. So there's four of them total that are for the VR tasks in order to get this badge. So there is the playground task where you go to the playground and there's specific like accessible playground equipment that you have right there. There's the shell design in the community area. There's this one, the biodiversity, uh, and then there's the sea cleaning. So uh, there's right here, uh, this is the second one that you need to do for the VR. It is the playground where you are trying to make accessible playground equipment. You go down to the uh, box, you click on the VR, and then you can go up to the different playground equipment, and then you just have to select the proper equipment. If you select the wrong equipment, it's not gonna work, but you have to grab, like if it's a swing, you wanna replace it with the swings, of course. If it is some of the uh, construction equipment, then you just wanna put some of that stuff uh, on there. So it's really easy, it's really straightforward, it's not too difficult to figure out what you need to do in order to put the proper playground equipment in the proper places. You just walk up to the equipment and then you put four of those down and then after you put four of those down, you can go and talk to the NPC right there again and then you will get that one. Uh, the next one right here is the shell design in the classroom area of the community. It's basically, you go there, you turn on your VR goggles, and then there's a 3D printer that you're supposed to use over here. And you can see kind of what the three printed items are gonna look, look like. And then you just choose for yourself which of those particular designs you like. There's, I think, one, two, three, four different designs. You pick the one that you like. I like this one with the spikes on it, so I'm gonna just select that one. And then boom, that's all you have to do for that one. And then this next one, uh, as far as like the VR tasks are concerned, uh, this next one is the one that takes the most amount of time. It's when you're in the ocean and you have to go and you have to set like GPS locations for all of this. So you go to the ocean, it is the clean the sea task is the one that you have to do. And then you have to go up to 10 different items and then you click on them and you can see on the very top, it will say coordinates. So you guys, you're gonna have to swim really far across the ocean. So you see it's 427, 13, once you click on it, and then whatever those coordinates are, you click on those for the X and the Y, and then you submit, and then you're basically setting up, I guess, an area for a cleaning crew to come and clean up all the stuff that's in the ocean. So uh, those are the four tasks you guys need for the VR, guys. It is the, uh, the biodiversity one in the rainforest, the playground task, in the city uh, community area, the shell design task in the community area near the school, and also this one, the sea cleaning task, which is the clean the sea. 
so yeah, that's all you guys need for the uh, VR one. And then once you get that one and you've got this uh, VR badge, that is going to give you the, uh, the backpack, the uh, CHM Logo Camping Backpack. All you have to do is for this last one, once you're done, you go over to this person, this NPC over there, you interact. Now I've done all the VR ones, you can see right there, I've got the badge for that one as a virtual student and that one's going to give you the backpack then of course um yeah you guys are going to be able to get the lab coat pants and the lab coat item after you uh get oh so the vr goggles are for the lab coat stuff the conservation world is for the camping backpack swimming across the ocean is for the chain uh purchasing the robot is for the hat and then if you log in for five days in a row you guys will get the t-shirt so if you guys are new here i would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys later